What's up, YouTube? Warriors on here coming at you with a quick video on how to do the changes to the batteries to fit the MJX Bugs 3. I've gone ahead and purchased the connectors that we're going to need, the XT30 connectors right here from Progressive RC. I ordered them online. Link will be in the description below so you can purchase them yourself. Let's get started. Now that we have all our materials, we can begin the project. The first thing we're going to want to do is take your batteries that you have already and clip off these connectors. So you can use some wire cutters here or even scissors would work. Just remember you want to do them one at a time, black then red, not at the same time because then you'll short out the battery. And this is, I'm pretty sure you've heard on the news or something, lithium polymer batteries are not good when dealing with shorts. So one at a time, you can just go ahead and clip off the wire make sure that this wire does not touch your tool either and clip so now you have your wires here that you are going to put the connector on Second battery so you can just take your battery here and clip it and now we can continue so you're going to want to take some wire strippers Go ahead, take any wire, it doesn't matter which one you choose, and we're gonna go ahead and strip it. So just put it in about that much. You don't have to strip that much off of it, just about that much. And here you go. So as you can see, it took the insulation off. Now you have open a braided wire. And do the same to the other side. And there you go. To make soldering a bit easier, I suggest just twisting these up a bit so they stay together and the wire doesn't start to fray. Very important, do not let these two wires touch. At all cases, do not let them touch. Put them apart from each other. You're better off this way. Now we can go ahead and open up this package that we got from Progressive RC, the XT30 connectors. As you can see, it has two of the XT30 connectors right here, and then the uh, places that they plug into. We're not going to have to use these, but if our drone connector ever broke, we have two replacements and a bunch of shrinking tube as well. So that was nice for them to include. So we're going to go ahead and take our two pieces of wire here that we're going to need to extend the wires that come off the batteries because they might not be long enough to get into the MJX Bugs uh, 3. So we're going to go ahead and take our two wires that we have cut, just scrap wire, doesn't really matter, and we're going to connect it to the battery now. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use our soldering iron push these to a side for now, take our soldering iron and put solder on the wires first. So you can just bend them up in a, in a way that will make it easier for you to access. Take your solder, I'm just going to take a piece of it, and now we're going to give you a close up of what I'm doing to these wires. So you can go ahead and take your soldering iron and your solder here and just touch the tip of the wire that you cut here and just make it heat up all around and then you can start putting your solder on the reason you want to do this is it makes your connection for the other wires easier put a good amount of solder on there and there you go now you can see that it has being filled with solder. So now you can do that on the other side. And there we go. So now both of our wires have solder on them and we can now start the connection. So now we can repeat the process that we did with the wires for the battery with these two pieces of wire here. We'll just strip the ends, both ends. Grab it. You want to strip it. You want to strip it. So 
so these have broken on me and that stinks so we can just go ahead and get the other type and just strip this side the way you use these is you just find the right size hole so it seems to be about this big one is about right put in the amount that you want to strip and just I like I like to open it and close it all around the wire just to give it an even cut so when it comes time to pull it off we're not pulling off any of the wire on the inside and there you go and now do that same thing to the other side so just put red and red black and black it doesn't really matter the colors however it'll make it easier so if you would like you can put solder on the tips of these wires as well to make application even easier So now you can take your wire, move this up a little bit closer for you. So you can take your wire, whichever side you want, and just put it right next to the wire on the battery and just hold the heat there until it's enough to melt both the solder from the battery wire and your wire. And it'll bond, hold it, wait for it to cool. And you're good. Now we can do that on this side. And that's pretty much it to add the extensions to the wire. Again, we do not want to let these touch. And now we can go ahead and take our shrinking tube and slip it on. And now you can just go ahead and put that over the joint right here. Take your lighter and just hold the flame underneath the shrinking tube for a little while for it to shrink down to the correct size. Don't want to hold the flame in one area too long because you don't want to melt the wire. Just make sure you get a nice uniform shrink. And that should be good. I can do the next one. And we're good to go. So now that we have our wires extended, we can attach it to the XT30 connectors and we'll be back in business. So now to attach the XT30 connectors to the wires that we just soldered onto the battery. If you look closely on the XT30 connector, you can see there's a minus on that side and a plus on that side. That's indicating that this side is your positive and this side is your negative. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're soldering it to your battery. So you can take your battery, match up the sides. So again, positive is going to be going on the red side. doing this is you want to load up this end of your wire with solder put more on it this time so you can get a quick easy stick to your connector and do the same to this side and now take your connector and put it on the side that you are supposed to don't forget, right before you put on your connector, take your shrinking tube, include it in the package, and just slip it on. This will make it easier, so you don't have to do it after you soldered your connection. And now just solder it on. And there you go. Your first side is now connected and ready to go. So you can just bring up your shrinking tube and now you can just heat it up and there you go. You now have a finished joint on the positive end. So now just do the same for the negative. There you go, now both your sides are connected and good to go. We can just bring our shrinking tube up 
over and heat it up and let it shrink down. And there you go, there's one completed battery ready to go right into the drone and now we're just going to repeat that for this one. Now that we have completed the surgery for the batteries, we've attached the XT30 connectors. You can see they're both on, shrinking tubes ready to go. We can now test them with the drone. We can take the drone and our batteries, go ahead and slip them in, and just plug them in. So now we have clarification that that battery works and it's good to play around with. Now we can test this one here. Slip it in and plug it in. Success. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Now we have four batteries that we can go outside and play with our MGX Bugs 3 quadcopter, so now we should get a lot more flight time, so that'll be fun. So, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, drop a comment, leave a like, and thanks for watching. Warrior Zoino, out.